What you want? Baby, I got it. What you need? You know I got it. All I'm asking. Hi, Charles Curcio here for the Stanley News and Press, and we're on the set of The Sound of Music. It's going to be the URI Players production starting on July 24th, and I'm with Reed Furr, who plays Franz and has played in two different productions of uh, Sound of Music. How is this one, do you think, going to be different from uh, the other URI productions? Well, one of the things that I think will most stand out is the sets that we're mm -hmm. going to be using. Uh, in the other two productions that we did, uh, the sets weren't nearly as attractive, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So I think that's going to be a real striking. We've got a, a strong cast, but I thought we had a strong cast in the other ones, too. Mm -hmm. uh, vocally, I think we're just as strong, if not stronger, than ever. But I think the sets will be the real thing that sets it apart from the other two productions. You started, uh, we were talking that you played um, played Rolf. Played Rolf in the first time in 1976. and wow. now. Then I played Max in 1990, and I've worked my way up to the Butler Franz now. <laughs> <laughs> um, all very interesting roles. Uh, how have you um, developed each role? Well, you, you have some opinions of your own from seeing other plays, from seeing the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you work with the director, and he kind of gives you his vision as mm -hmm. you go along working on the set, on the scenes and so forth. And between the collaboration between you and the director and what you've seen before, it kind of comes together as a character. How is this director different? Uh, he is very patient. He's one of the most mm -hmm. patient directors that I've ever worked with. Uh, very seldom ever loses his temper. And I've mm -hmm. worked with some who've lost their tempers oh, sure. a lot. Of course. Uh, but yep. uh, Jack Stevenson is the director, and he, he is very, very patient and uh, works with the children and the adults. Uh, equally well as far as patience is concerned. With a week away um, for your uh, dress rehearsals and then your opening opening the show, um, where do you think the, the cast is right now and how is the, the show so far? Oh, I've, It's looking like it's going to be a very strong show. I always worry at this point about all the technical things coming mm -hmm. together, the sets moving around, the lights being set right, the sound system being adjusted correctly, those types of things always is what worries me that's what worries me the most uh, okay. I, as far as the cast we're getting close to being ready awesome. it's, the, it's the little things that, that i always worry about <laughs> well we've got a few other folks we're going to interview but thank you mr fur we appreciate your time glad to talk to you thank you we're back here at um, sound of music they're now in there rehearsing so we decided to take captain von trapp out and talk this is mark stevenson mark it's a pleasure to have you here thank you um Talk a little bit about your approach to the character of Captain Von Trapp. You know, mm. there, there are so many, obviously everyone has seen either a play or seen the movie, and there, there are so many different ways you could look at that. How are you looking at Captain Von Trapp? Well, I just try to let, the, let what he says uh, tell me sort of what to do, what's mm -hmm. going on, and I do my best to not uh, uh, think of the people, of, of actors that uh, people are familiar with. Sure, sure. Um, and just let whatever thoughts and motives uh, that I have move what I do. Mm -hmm. And of course, this act, Jack's stage direction helps that because it's just it's completely different. You're in your own little world mm -hmm. out there. So. He seems like he's taking a very very fast paced approach to this. You know, wants it to be much more. Well, all all than all, all, uh, all shows need to move, mm -hmm, and of um, um, it's. Um, I, I haven't really noticed much of a fast pace yet, to, mm -hmm. be, to be frank. So, yeah. uh, uh, because uh, rehearsals have been big clumps here and there. Right, you haven't so ever got to do like tonight, get straight a, through. do a whole, yeah, a whole yeah, run so. through. That's right. Um, tell us a little bit about some of your experience. Obviously, this is not your first uh, performance no. on stage. No, um, the last thing I did was Lenny in. Um, uh, of Mice and Men, which is a complete 180 degree turn. That's a little from, different from Captain Von Trapp, yes. And, uh, so. But that was a very rewarding mm -hmm. experience, it, it was. Um, I have, um, the last thing I did prior to that from, with the UR players was uh, the prosecutor, Mr. Gilmer, in, of, of uh, To Kill a Mockingbird, and then I was in the cast of Grand Night for Singing, which was mm -hmm. all singing. Sure. Um, prior to that, I had about a 10 year hiatus. Mm -hmm. and, or a little bit longer, and um, part of that I was, um, I, I did some sh shows with the Piedmont players in Salisbury, mm -hmm. I did uh, Lancelot and Camelot and mm -hmm. uh, uh, Kramer in um, uh, Secret Garden, mm -hmm. and I've got some opera credit roles too, so, uh, but not in a long time. Long, it long it time. seems like you've been doing a lot of dramatic roles, and then um, 
you know, switching to the modern to the musical theater. That's got to be kind of a tough sort of transition. I would no, think. it's actually a lot of fun. I've actually done much less dramatic than I've done mm -hmm. theater, musical theater or any sort of musical uh, genre. Yeah. So uh, I, it's, it's a lot of fun to actually do a straight role. What do you think about this particular cast, and uh, how uh, how has production gone on Sound of Music? So far? It's a very good cast. I think we we when it all comes together, it's going to be. Uh, uh, a, a great experience for all, and uh, there's a lot of very good uh, uh, chemistry between all of the the uh, actors on stage, and that's uh, a very important aspect of the show. Mm -hmm. And sure. you know, Rod Allman is Max Detweiler, mm -hmm. and, and he just brings all sorts of color to that. And um, uh, and uh, Betsy Fur is uh, Ralph Strader, mm -hmm. who is my First love interest in the show, of course, and she brings a lot of color to that too. She's excellent. So, uh, and uh, and then uh, Caroline Fertzak is is Maria, mm -hmm. and she's just ideal in the role, and uh, lots of vibrant color there, and mm -hmm. uh, sings wonderfully. She works very well with the kids. Sure. sure. And so there's a there's a great uh, rapport going on there. What would you What would you tell? people watching this on our website um, about why they should come out to see Sound of Music? Well, um, first, uh, my stock answer for anything like this is that there is absolutely nothing like live theater. Absolutely. Um, live theater is always unpredictable. Mm -hmm. uh, it's different every night mm -hmm. it's in subtle ways. Absolutely. In some ways, they're magnificent subtle ways. Um, and also uh, for the caliber of shows that the uh, URI players have been putting on over the years, and especially since I've had anything to do with them, not my, I'm, this is <laughs> sure. my experience is just yeah. I'm, I'm quite taken. Um, it's it's a it's a great organization that needs to be supported by the community mm -hmm. because it, to not have something like this or to have something like this and not go out and experience it um, is uh, Unfortunate. Yeah. I don't mean to be negative. No, no, not at all. Absolutely. It's it's just great theater, and that's what it's all about. Mark, thank you very much for your thank time. You. And um, break a leg, thank and we well. hope to see you uh, join this coming uh, week for the uh, for the shows. Great. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very you. much.